welcome back. Long time no see on this channel. I'm super excited because I'm going to be weekly vlogging this week. I've got a lot of stuff going on. So prepare yourself for a crazy, awesome, busy, amazing week um, in this vlog. And I'm gonna try and fit it all into like 10 minutes. So see, let's see how we do. Today is Monday. I am filming three videos today. It's actually bank holiday, so everyone else has a day off. Um, and Mike is at home in the garden. I have just been to the supermarket to get some food and stuff for the house and just do a few errands and pick up stuff I need. Now I'm gonna film three videos. So I've got my monthly favorites, my summer essentials, which is gonna go up next week, and then I'm also filming a hair tutorial, like an updo hair tutorial for the Beauty Recommended channel. So let's get going. Squidge just ran in, all excited. I don't know where she's been, outside somewhere probably. So yes, let's do this. So I was mid-filming, and I kind of am still mid-filming right now. Here's my setup. There's stuff going on. I got a new light as well, by the way, guys. I got a ring light, and I am loving it. Really good investment, I think it was like 80 pounds. So anyway, Got two videos down, all fine, and then I came to film the last video, and I got all the way through, and then my camera ran out of battery. So I was like, okay, I can just wait for it to charge, and then I'll just film the outro really quickly. Walked over to the mirror, and I had lipstick on my teeth like there, like bright pink lipstick. So annoying! Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to refilm the last video again, but it's okay. I'm now waiting for the battery to charge. So I've actually been watching, I literally just started watching right now on Netflix, a new show called Residue. I think it's just a three-parter. I didn't want to start anything too long because seriously, otherwise my life would disappear. So it's quite good so far. I am about 10 minutes in whilst I'm waiting for the battery to charge. Um, and then yes, more filming will commence and then editing. Monday is not very exciting. Hey pig, what you got on your nose? <laughs> You're silly. We're off for a walk. Mike is here after a long day in the garden. Yes, I feel a bit disheveled. <laughs> I feel a bit disheveled after filming a million bazillion videos. Take you out. And these guys are happy to be walking. They've actually been outside with you all day. Oh, she's doing a poo. That wasn't a good thing to film. <laughs> I also wanted to show you guys the bluebells because there is a serious amount of bluebells where we live right now. And you guys don't normally see them because I don't normally vlog in May and that's when the bluebells are out. So we're going to show you the bluebells. Seriously, guys, this is what makes living in the countryside worth it very blue there's a sea of blue and there's you happy tuesday everybody today i am heading off to the harry potter studio tour which i've actually done before about two years ago but i think they've got loads of new things there i know they've got the train there now which wasn't before um so i'm super excited i'm actually meeting my friend lana who is another youtuber who i actually met it's kind of a long story um i met her boyfriend when I was in Cannes um, in April, yes, April, I'm like, which month was it? Um, and then we ended up connecting when we were in LA and she's really cool, she makes beauty videos too. So I'm meeting her at the station and then we're driving to Harry Potter World and then we're gonna come back here for dinner. Um, and yeah, I just thought I would do a really quick outfit of the day for you all. Um, today I am wearing, whoa, my sunglasses. <laughs> that was so not smooth. My sunglasses are my Ray-Ban 4147s. I always get asked about the um, shape of these because they're kind of different. And then I have on, my breast on stripe uh t-shirt from j crew which i really like because it has like sparkly bits on the side which are kind of cute and then my necklaces are from madewell my jacket is from zara my skirt is from tesco um which is super super old and then i have my bag from proenza schooler which again is a few years old and i have on my free people boots which i love they're actually really detailed they're kind of dirty as well but i'm going to show you guys you won't judge me will you um you probably will actually <laughs> but they're just like double zip so they have a zip on either side and they have like loads of detail on them and yes that is my outfit for today piglet what have you got there what? that's not yours look at her if all else fails roll over and look cute so i found lana at the train station and it was the first ever train she'd got in I her know, life ever so that's like alien for an english person <laughs> I know. Alien. she's really 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 excited i'm excited too but i feel like you're a little bit more excited. i'm so excited <laughs> i'm seriously like <gasps> So we're in the hair and makeup section right now. There's like wigs and stuff everywhere. And our tour guide is getting us Harry's scar to look at. Um, which is kind of creepy. I'm not sure I want to see. I kind of want to 
try it on. <laughs> Stick it on your face. It's I don't really think we can gross. touch it, but I think we can look at it. Tiniest little bit of prosthetic makeup. That is so weird. It's so little. <laughs> it's so little and tiny. It's so it's small. Like in the first films. <laughs> no, I did he have a smaller scar before, and then they had to make the scar yeah, bigger for his head size? Just <laughs> Yeah, what they did to always make sure it was in the exact same place is they made a little head template. So oh, again, yeah. as he aged, they'd always oh, make yeah, it in the What's it even supposed to be? It's just supposed to be on the school It's center. creepy. It no, it's hiccuping bit. serum. <laughs> what's, the, what's the label? <laughs> label is hiccuping solution. Oh, so man. God forbid you ever get the hiccups, you don't want to be drinking this. Oh. Um, but they really wanted the potions costume to be quite intimidating for the yeah. extras as well. They wanted to be as creepy as possible. <laughs> They were authentically scared. Yeah, they really didn't need to act when they were going for a potions lesson. So this wasn't here last time I came. The Hogwarts Express is now in the studio tour. This is so awesome. I hope you I think you can go on it. So cool. And then they have the platform nine three quarters. So cool. Look at the carriages. I wanna go on a trip. Let's go on an adventure. Let's do it. <laughs> Super oh. creepy. Press it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so oh, hey, Baldy. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> What's up? He needs to breathe. I know. Yeah. I feel oh like he needs God. some slime. So we made it home. We were about like four and a half hours in the Harry Potter studio tour. It was awesome. They've added some cool new things I haven't seen. So I was super excited to go back there. But now we have come for a romantic dinner out. <laughs> Mike is here. Lana is here. There was. <laughs> There was meant to be more of us. My sister bailed on us tonight, basically. So um, we have a spare seat at the table. If anyone wants to join, you are welcome. Um, and we have some delicious food. This looks amazing. I've actually eaten it before, so I know it's amazing. But um, it is sea bass with a. It had, they have like goat's cheese risotto balls and tomatoes and artichoke. Lana got the same, but without. The goat's cheese, right? Yeah. Because she doesn't like goat's cheese. Yeah, with the yogurt. Mmm, delicious. And Mike got fish and chips. A light fish and chips. <laughs> Mike's like, I'm going to get fish and chips tonight because it's so light. Yeah. Where's your it's like, Really? It's coming. I think, I think. I hope. Welcome to Wednesday. Today, I thought I was going to show Lana, who's still here with me. Hey. I'm going to show her some more British kind of heritage, that kind of stuff. So I brought her to Burley House in uh, Lincolnshire. And it's a beautiful day. I think we got pretty lucky with the weather. I've actually never been into the house before. I've been here for like horse riding events and stuff, but it's gonna be an experience for me. So we're taking you guys along. Come along. This is where we are now. This is like, we came into the car park, Lana's like freaking out. Like, this is so beautiful. I was like, it gets so much better. Treacle snuck in. Look, she's in the picture. How did she get in here? Oh my God. It's Treacle. Yeah. Oh, with the dead birds. With the dead birds. Just chilling. It's really. We're walking around crunching mini eggs and they're so loud and there's nobody else here. It's slightly awkward. I feel like we need to whisper. This is the coolest bathroom in the world. It's like a little cubby hole of this huge room. It's so cool. But weirdly enough, I think it's meant to be like. It kind of seems like office like the way they've kitted it out, but I'm guessing it would have initially been not an office <laughs> if it had a bathroom. We've come outside and we have some lunch. We're sitting in the beautiful grounds of Burley House and Lana's eating her first ever fish and chips. So <laughs> and I have this yummy looking fish cake. I love fish cakes. It has a poached egg on top and hollandaise sauce. It's kind of like um, eggs benedict, but a fish cake. It's gonna be good. So this is the front of the house. It's so awesome. When can I move in? <laughs> I think that's it for Burley. We're gonna head into Stamford, which is the town just up the road, and maybe get a coffee. Do you fancy a coffee? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, I fancy a tea. A tea? Oh, she's so English now. She's just <laughs> down with the English ways. This is Stamford. It's so beautiful. If you look back up here, you can see the church and all the shops and all the cars as well. But you know, <laughs> ignore the cars. Um, we're just having a little wander. We've been into a few shops. Um, just having a little mosey. We've stopped for a coffee in the courtyard at the George Hotel in Stamford. And I need this right now. And there's a little biscotti as well, as you can tell. I've already eaten half of it. Shh, don't tell anyone. So I dropped Lana off at the station. She is now gone. I am sad. However, exciting stuff. Lissy is here. And we have been eating this amazing pasta and meatballs that Mike cooked us. Thank you very much. And 
I got Lissy a chocolate frog from Harry Potter World you or Harry Potter Studios you about a minute. I yesterday. Understand. Okay. So basically, I was just saying to Fleur, I've never seen this before, and a big part of me is really hoping that when I open up the box, the frog's actually going to jump out. So there's a frog in there. Mike didn't yeah, read so Harry Potter. Didn't read or watch. In so I'm messing it up so badly. Okay, so uh, in the first Harry Potter books, we get introduced to the chocolate frog, and uh, it's when actually Harry and Ron first meet. It's a really oh, it's, it's a time. moment. It's a moment. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they open up the chocolate frog, and inside are yeah. cards of all the best we wizards. Must it up. It's like football cards. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the chocolate frog like bounces out. So we're trying to work out if there's like some okay, kind of mechanism. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's, that's like... <laughs> oh, look at it! Oh, babe! Oh, it's my Dumbledore! Oh, look, I've got Dumbledore, Albus Dumbledore! Let me see, let me see. Dumbledore! So welcome to Wednesday. Um, I actually haven't vlogged yet because I came down to London super early this morning. Um, I got uh, like a 7.30 train down and went to this free Webster sample sale, which I was really excited about. And I was so excited about it, I forgot to vlog. But I did end up getting a couple of pairs of shoes, um, which I'm actually gonna put in a haul video, so I'm not gonna show you. I'm now on the rooftop bar in Selfridges. It's lunchtime now, actually, because I had a meeting in between. Um, and I'm having a drink with my friend Sam, who's just gone to the loo, but you guys have seen Sam a lot. Um, and yeah, we're gonna have a drink in the sunshine and then stupidly, because I have like a lot of stuff going on the next few days, I need my passport for a flight down from Glasgow to home on Sunday and I'm not going home in between then and I forgot my passport. So I'm having to get the train back to meet Mike at the station, get my passport and then come straight back. Like, ultimate fail. Having some uh, decidedly summery drinks and the sun's decided to go in for it. So Sam's here looking uh, Rather dashing today. Look at this lovely. Look at this so manly. Cheers. Cheers. Stop for a little bit of ramen for lunch. I've got pork. Sam got chicken. He's feeling jealous. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a super super bad vlogger. I've like not really vlogged today at all because. Um, I've just kind of been rushing around. Like I said before, I had to go back um, to pick up my passport because. Oh, I forgot it. I just cannot believe I actually forgot my passport. I was so stupid. But I met Mike at the station. He was so nice. He came to meet me. He had a golf lesson um, near the station. So he came out anyway and dropped my passport off. So I kind of like wasted two hours that I was meant to be filming this afternoon. So I'm going to have to get up super early. I was just setting up my stuff. Like my tripods there in my hotel room now. Which is um, my like regular hotel. And... Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have to get up super early to film. I just went for dinner with some of my old school friends as well, which was super nice to catch up, because I don't see them very often, let alone all together. So it was really nice to catch up with them. I'm gonna watch Harry Potter now and sort my life out and generally like, um, get ready to film tomorrow, because I've got my first meeting tomorrow. T tomorrow's kind of a crazy day, actually. I have like a meeting at 10.30, which is actually not that early, but because I have to film a video before and I'm going to try and edit it before as well, I'm going to get up maybe six, get ready, film, edit, go to my meeting, and then I'm actually meeting a um, some competition winners, which I'm so excited about. Basically, when we when I release my book, we stick it up the books with like one of them was win um, a shopping spree on Feel Unique, which is just a voucher. Then the other one was win a shopping spree with me. So I'm going to meet the competition winner of that tomorrow and go shopping with her. And then the other one was um, go for afternoon tea um, together. So I'm doing that and then I have my Urban Decay meet up. So tomorrow is going to be so much fun, but it's like super, super busy. So we're going from one thing to the next thing to the next thing. So um, I've got to be like kind of organized tomorrow. So I'm sorting my life out. Um, and now I'm just waffling. I have my chamomile tea actually. I love this hotel because they have the pantry, which I think I showed you guys last time. Basically it's like a kitchen where they have like tea and coffee. Um, and you can go and help yourself to stuff. So, and they have like cake and stuff too. But I got chamomile tea, which I don't think I've ever had chamomile tea. Is that weird? Maybe it is. I'm gonna try it. Um, should we try it now and see if it's good? This is chamomile flower tea. It smells quite floral. It is quite good actually. I do like it. Um, it's not as good as mint tea, and I thought they had mint tea, and it turned out to be green tea, and I was really disappointed because I had mint tea in my head. Um, I'm going to stop waffling now, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. Welcome to Thursday. So, again, I've been a very bad vlogger, and I haven't vlogged this morning. It's now 1.37, and I'm on my way to the Barclay Hotel, where I'm meeting Catherine, who's a competition winner from um, my book. 
and we're gonna go for afternoon tea. I've just been shopping with a girl called Jessie. Hello Jessie if you're watching this. Um, and I forgot to vlog because it's literally been like, we had like an hour in Topshop and it was so busy because it's half term at the moment. It was like supermarket sweep for Topshop. It was super fun. Um, and yes, yeah, so we did that and I'm now on my way to afternoon tea. See you there. So I'm at afternoon tea with lovely Catherine who's here and look at the spread. This is just a savoury bit. So I think we're gonna be full by the end of this and we have some champagne. Very, very exciting. And I don't know if I'm gonna be vlogging here because it's quite fancy. Um, but I'm actually really hungry so I'm gonna devour this now. The sweets have arrived guys, look at this. This is the cutest thing, this little handbag. It's an Heim March handbag with eyes on it. Look at this as well, that's amazing. I don't wanna eat them, they're too pretty. And there's a cheeky little bikini up here as well. We are just around the corner from the meetup now. I'm like really nervous. I don't know why I'm so nervous, but um, I think this is the way. We just arrived and I just had to show this to you guys because they're customizing <laughs> naked palettes. How amazing are these? Oh my god, guys, we're downstairs. This is where we're doing the meetup, like in our little room downstairs. It's amazing. But I just have to show you the toilet. I know this is weird and you don't normally want to see a toilet, but look at the wallpaper. And apparently, these are like the guys running over decay in LA. These are their dogs. It's amazing and they have their names. I want wallpaper with Piglet on it. <laughs> So it's 1am and I've just arrived in my hotel room in Newcastle. I'm currently annihilating some popcorn. <laughs> Super hungry. It was such a horrible train journey. I didn't vlog it because the train was packed and it was so cold. And the only thing I had was this one jumper. Like, seriously, I had to layer up. I was freezing for like 3 hours and 40 minutes. It took us to get here. I'm going to go to bed now. Um, it's been a really good day though. The meetup was Awesome. I'm sorry I didn't vlog more of it. It was just literally non-stop that we went to the train station and got on the train um, So yeah, it's been a really long day. I'm gonna call it a night and I'll see you in the morning Good morning everybody. It's Saturday and today I have my book signing in Newcastle. I'm really excited. That's actually about quarter past 11 now We're leaving in about 15 minutes to go to the Metro Centre. It's a really really nice day and I am excited to meet some of you guys Loads of people have been tweeting me from the queue which makes me so excited because I've been sitting here I've like done everything and got ready and then I had like an hour left so I've been sitting here watching Harry Potter. Since going to the studio tour on Wednesday, I've been like re-watching them all. I know that sounds geeky but um, I'm loving it to be honest. It's really cool to be able to see all the props and stuff but oh my god, there's a stretch Hummer outside at like 11 o'clock on a Saturday. Do we reckon that's a Hindu maybe? <laughs> um, so yes, I am gonna get ready now and head off. A little bit nervous as always. Okay, so we've just got into Water Center, some people there but we're gonna just walk down and say hi to everyone in the queue because apparently there's quite a lot of people waiting um, and then hopefully some people can be on my vlog. So the meetup is over. I've actually been hanging out in Newcastle for a couple of hours, which has been super nice. And now we are at the station and we are getting on our train to Glasgow. I'm here with Fran, the lovely Fran, who was on the book tour last time and is doing all the organising, basically. She's the serious one. Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, so we're heading up to Glasgow. It's about half past seven, so we've got our snacks. We're ready with our m &S snack bags um, because um, I was going to say plain food. Train food, it's never very good. So yeah, I've never been to Glasgow before. Bring it on. We're on the train right by the sea and this whole journey has just had amazing views. Look at this. And the sun's setting too. It's so cool. It's kind of like a holiday on a train. <laughs> So we're backstage at Waterstones in Brayhead and we have cookies. Fran just went and got these because she's super amazing and they smell amazing. I kind of want to steal one but I'm not going to because they're for the people in the queue. That would be really naughty. Um, yeah, I think we have about 10 minutes and I feel like super tired this morning. I sleep so badly in hotels that I'm like, I feel a bit zombified. But as soon as I start meeting people, I think I'll be like a bit more energetic. So we just finished the signing and I wanted to show you guys this. This is the coolest thing ever. Thank you, Laura and Molly, who bought this for me. I don't think I can eat all of it by myself, but um, I think I might share it with all of the guys in Waterstones, because they're so awesome. We have a little while in Glasgow before I have to get my flight home. And this is the centre of town, what it looks like. It's actually quite nice, and it, there's the weirdest weather here today. It keeps raining and then being really nice, and raining and being really nice. But um, yeah, we're just having a wander around the centre of town. We've had some lunch, 
and having a little mosey. Look who I spy with my little eye. Hello weasels. Hello guys. Oh, you are so adorable. I missed you so, 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 so much. I did. I missed you so, so, so much. And you a little bit. <laughs> and you tricky trues. Oh, it's so good to be home. And then that's my excuse to say, oh, it's so good to have you home. <laughs> Are you grumpy? Hi. I'm in the middle of working whilst watching very intense Shutter Island at the same time. Shutter Island? Yeah, I forgot how good oh, it was. I forgot how good this film was. Yeah, the thing is, well, I forgot that once you've actually seen it, so you know what's going on. You down, can spot all the clues. Yeah, but don't give any the game away because obviously. Yeah, but it's like that in any film. Yeah. But so it's... once you know what happens, you can be like, oh, oh I see work. the twist coming now. And look at you two. I've missed you. I'm going to join this snuggle pile and I'm going to call it a day here with these guys. You've got the stinkiest breath in the world, Piglet. Um, thanks for watching my weekly vlog. I actually start daily vlogging again tomorrow, which I didn't realise. Ah, Piglet! Until today, really. Um, thanks, Piglet. What are you doing, you weird dog? <laughs> what are you doing? I missed you, you so crazy much. dog. I missed you too, you crazy dog. Um, but yeah, so I guess I'll be seeing you sooner than I thought. Bye, guys. What are you doing? Hello, guys. I'm a little bit late in starting my vlog today because it has been quite manic, but we are cooking today for the Sainsbury's channel. We've just finished the first recipe, which is sneak preview veggie burgers.